Here we go to the bottom of the nine. Jake Arrieta has thrown only 98 pitches. He has not allowed a hit in this game. He will face Justin Turner, Jimmy Rollins, and Chase Utley. And a strike. Turner has never faced him. Turner with his first at bat of the night. Came on in a double switch and inning to go. 0 and 2. Curveball fouled off. He's mixed the fastball, the slider, and the curveball beautifully. Last Cubs no hitter 2008, Carlos Zambrano. Last no hitter anywhere, Mike Fires Houston nine days ago against the Dodgers. Check the swing. And the last three hitters of Mike Fires no hitter were. Jimmy Rollins, Chase Utley, Justin Turner. Reversed. Turner, Rollins, Utley. This ninth inning here for the Dodgers in this one. Slider down and away it could be a different story. Got him swinging. Pitch in the dirt. Throw down to first. One down. Tenth strikeout tonight for Arietta. This is just a change of vision for Turner after going up in the zone twice. He comes down with the slider, bouncing in front of home plate. Give Montero some credit too. He backhanded that ball. If that ball doesn't hit it in the center of his glove. It kicks away. Turner gets on base. Now you open up holes and you have to face at least one more hitter. The batter Jimmy Rollins. So for two and a walk. So a couple of real veterans standing between Jake Arietta and some potential history as Clayton Kershaw and others look on. Rollins the batter. Utley on deck. Arietta two outs away. Shift on again. Big hole on the left side. Same defense that Rollins has seen in now three of his four plate appearances tonight. And Addison Russell is trying to take the bun away from Jimmy Rollins in case he decides to lay one down. 108 pitches thrown by Arietta. His season high is 122. As Joe Madden told us before the game, he feels Arietta might be as well conditioned as any player in baseball. Look at that slide. Two and two. A lot of Cub fans here in Los Angeles enjoying this one. Susceptible with two strike, two strikes. That slider down in his back foot that Arietta has already got him on once. And now with the count two and two, the defense changes and Russell moves back to his shortstop position. So a, a huge hole right up the third baseline. Oh boy. Cup fans don't like that.
number 11 for Arietta. A new season high. It'll be up to Chase Utley. Utley's 0 for 3. Who are we kidding? Everybody's 0 for 3. <laughs> <laughs> you could just safely assume everybody's 0 for 3. Utley 0 for 9 in his career against Arietta. Strike one. Four. He's a strike away now. <laughs> Dodger fans and Cub fans alike ooing and eyeing as Utley fouls it off. Now that one there, 0-2. There he had to reach back for one there and get thrown out at 96 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Utley settling back in. The count remains 0 and 2. Bounced in. performance by Arietta tonight. The sixth no-hitter thrown in the majors this year. There was one error, there was one walk, there were 12 overpowering strikeouts tonight from Arietta. And the Cubs snap their losing streak, and Arietta makes some history here at Dodger Stadium. I think that last inning exemplified the way he pitched all game long, really utilizing that fastball, the slider, his curveball, but not being predictable as to when he threw them. with the slider, a pitch so nasty, so dirty. Don Mattingly even said earlier, this is a pitch, one of the toughest in all of baseball. The 14th no-hitter in a Cubs history, and the first in the career of Jake Arrieta on his 116th pitch. 